Hey, uh, before we get started, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. You won't regret it. You don't have to, no pressure, but I'd appreciate it. Let's get started. So you might be wondering why I'm just sitting out in the dock casting almost, almost manic, right? What the heck am I doing? Well, let's talk about that. What I've got on the other end of this fly line is an October caddis. And I've got it on about 4X tippet. And if any of you have ever fished the October caddis, you know what your line can look like after a day of fishing. So what I'm trying to do is trying to simulate what it's like after an entire day of casting and my arm is getting sore because no one will ever cast like this this many times in a row. <laughs> but if you guys have fished terrestrial patterns, whether it's an October caddis or hoppers, you might notice that your line just twists like crazy, right? The end of your leader or tippet just becomes a twisted mess and you're like, oh, I gotta tie on another tippet or put on a whole brand new leader. That's time consuming and frustrating. Well, guess what? I have got the secret to get rid of that twisting of the line when you're fishing these big terrestrials. All right, let's go talk about it. Whew, I think that might be enough by now. So here's the fly we're using. And you can see the leader is a pretty big twisted mess. So how do you avoid this big nasty twisted mess after using this fly? Jeez, <laughs> what a mess. Let's go talk about it. So for this demonstration, I was using 4X tippet, which is pretty common for most trout fishing. Whenever you use these big terrestrials, you have to level up on your tippet material. You wanna go with 3X or even 2X, but 3X will prevent that fly from twisting. And it's solely because of the diameter of the line. The diameter of the line is heavy enough to where the fly doesn't influence it as much as it does with the 4X and just twist it all to heck. So whenever you're fishing these big terrestrial patterns, use 3X tippet. That will prevent the line from getting all twisted. Some of you might be wondering, well, what if the fish is leader shy? You know, there's, there's no way to avoid those twists in the line without going with a heavier line. In my experience, in these type of flies, the fish are pretty aggressive. So when they see that oh, big fly, geez, whether it's an October fish. caddis or a hopper land, they're not looking for leader. They want to eat that hopper. So using a 3X tippet, using the 3X tippet, there's generally no issues oh, with yeah. the fish being leader shy. They'll just come up and hammer that fly. So you should be pretty safe. So what happens when you have a line like we just saw? How do you straighten that out? Let's take a look. So one of the ways you can straighten the line out after it's been completely twisted is with this little device right here. This is a leader straightener and it helps straighten out your line when it's all twisted up. So this is what I do with this tool. It's horrible. Don't use it. I've destroyed leaders. You know what the best tool is? It's your fingers. Let me show you. All right. So you have your twisted up line, as you can see here, and it's twisted all the way about where the knot is. So first thing you want to do is just try to carefully get out all of the, the loops, right? Just kind of run in your finger tight. You want to put some pretty good pressure on there to help loosen that up and just kind of get the big loops out. But you can see it's still really twisted. All right, so you want to do is you want to have, you want to hold tight here. With your index finger, put some pressure on the line and you want to create some friction as you run the line through your fingers. Now, you know, you're going to know when you have just, you're squeezing a little bit too hard because it's going to get hot. It's going to feel like it's going to burn. So squeeze just to the point to where it uh, starts to burn your fingers a little bit and keep running it through your fingers. So I'm running it through. I can feel it getting a little bit hot here. I'm gonna do it again. It's kind of stretching the line and running it through my fingers. And just like that, your line is straight again. So all those twists are out of your line, just with about four times through my finger. And the great thing is you didn't melt the line and wreck it like that other that other tool is horrible. So just use your finger. It's really the best tool to straighten out any type of twisted line. Just like that. It's ready to fish again. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for tuning in today. I hope that helps. I hope that helps you anytime that you might get a twisted line. Don't throw away the leader. A lot of times you can save it. 
but if not, sometimes you do have to throw it away. Well, that's your tip for the day, and I appreciate your support, and I appreciate you watching, and man, I'm, I'm anxious to get out there and fish again. Let's go do this. Fish on. See you guys.